this point in my career, I pretty much have been all over the globe, but part of me still feels like I haven't really explored or seen certain parts of the states. Jackson Hole has definitely been on my hit list now for three plus years and finally got the opportunity to get out here and see what all the hype's about. Curtis has been talking about coming here for a while. I know this place has been talked about quite a bit. It's been pretty cool for riding. We had a week off, so we thought it'd be a good time to come out and check it out. Whenever you come to a new town, like you need someone to show you around, and Malachi was, was that guy. He loves skiing, he loves bikes. His lifestyle is sort of based around that. The mountain bike trails here are super fun. We have everything from steep technical to, I would compare it to a slope style course at some places. Where the pass is in the road and where the trails are from there, if you just want to do some shuttles, you've got the main highway, takes you right to the top. You can stop in at Stagecoach, get a ride between 3 and 6 p.m. and just get a free shuttle up to the top. We're at the bottom of the pass. Stagecoach, the infamous uh, picked up spot. Most days within five, 10 minutes, you stick out your thumb and you're gonna, you're gonna get a ride right up to the top. It's pretty cool <laughs> just that everyone embraces the bike scene. Hey, we got picked up. Oh, hell yeah. We'll help out guys who just wanna get to the top and have a good time riding down. You guys have up to the pass? Yeah, yeah. Awesome, oh, thanks yeah. brother. Good dude, picking up fellow mountain bikers and giving us a ride to the top. At least 2,000 foot up from where we started. That's a good bit of descending right there. I was able to show Jared and Curtis one of my fishing spots. Neither one of them have ever fly fished before. When we knew we were gonna go fly fishing, we thought we should you know, look the part, and uh, we thought we'd go get some hats. Fishing products. Ready to go fishing, eh? If Curtis was a fly, this would be him. Hi, I'm Curtis, I'm gonna catch a fish. Those guys are total jokers. Bear spray. <laughs> when Jared's annoying you. Malachi came around and showed us the basics. Dude, I'm gonna teach these guys how to fly fish. Right from the go, like, it turned into a competition. I'm just gonna smoke Jared. When I catch the biggest fish, I'll be a nice guy and say that Kurt has caught it. Yeah, ready? Let's go have some fun. How do you think they'll do? I don't think they'll catch any fish. I now knife you, Sir Keen. <laughs> Watch that back and just try to get it in the ripples right there. Look what he caught, though. That's a solid branch. It was a lot of untangling between the two of them. I feel like I'd have better luck like jumping in there, doing a cannonball and grabbing one. <laughs> they didn't like what I was offering. I don't think there's any fish in here. I think I had one. <laughs> it was hooking, man. How many fish did you catch? Zero. No fish were caught, but we had a great time out there. We had to call it. I reckon another 10 minutes, I had one. Ran half light, man. Just, it only got dark at 9.45. <laughs> We're up north of Jackson Hole. This is like an old school horse trail, and it's just, it's really good. We're gonna try and keep up with the local legend here. The local shredder. Riding with Jared and Curtis was super fun to ride with that level of talent. I just hope some of it rubs off on me. <laughs> no matter who you are, whenever you get out there on a bike, like we're all just out there to have fun. It was cool to see that even at their level, they are still just out there having fun. like this, it's about the location, but along with that, it's about the people you experience it with. No matter what you do in life, you always want more, you always want something else, but 
if you don't enjoy what's going on around you at the time, then what's the point of it all? Weeks like this is something you look back on when you're an old fella and you look back on it with good memories.